Hello and welcome to the gallery. My name is Jon and today we're doing another quick video. This time we're working on some lava themed bases, which I will be using for my upcoming Warcry warbands because it's themed around that kind of thing. We're starting out with just a, a black, a Corvus black, over top some texture paint and the actual base, and we're just adding on the flat surface some flat red from Vallejo. We're putting it first one layer just to get a base color going, and then we're adding some thick flat red on top of that. Once we've gotten some perfect uh, block globs of red on top, we're going to add some orange fire into the mix and swirl it around somewhat to get some fire theme going on this main monstrosity of a base. We can add, we can make this base as big as we want or as small as we want. This is just a fun thing to do. Once the orange uh, fire is mixed as to our liking, let's um, add a little bit of uh, demonic yellow into the orange fire flat red thing and just stroke back and forth so we get this fire river thing there. We have to leave that to dry and then put a little bit of art coat on top or whatever gloss of varnish you have. This will help in later stages. We're putting that on to protect the paint and so the next step will work a little bit better. Well, the next step after this, because we're gonna, while this is drying, just dry brush some administratum gray over top of the Corvus black that's on the rough bit. So we get some ground there because they're not gonna stand in lava now, are they? Well, maybe if you're painting corn demons or something like that, they can stand in the lava. But don't stand in the lava, it's not a good thing. Next, it's a Mordant Earth technical paint. And this is a black crackle paint. And you just put some thick globules on there. Don't go too much into the gray bit because that'll not look that nice. Just Mordant Earth over the red. And once that starts to crack up and once it's dry, put some Lamia medium over it. And then you are pretty much done. I find these bases to be somewhat striking to look at. They are quite interesting and quite simple. So you can knock out a fair few of these. You see it's drying and once it's really dried and cracked up, it looks pretty damn good. And it's going to look good underneath my models. So thank you very much for watching. There are links and everything underneath the video. Just hit that, every single one of them, and I'll catch you on the flippity flop.